So can the new Jump Party Lite V2 really run these external modules at full power? Well, today we find out. Okay, so we have our Jump Party Lite V2 right here. We have two of the most used modules on the market. We have a TBS Crossfire Nano module and an Express LRS module here as well. Now these are pretty power hungry modules and these are having a hard time being powered up by the original T Lite. Now, Jumper claims that you can run external modules at full power on the T-Lite V2. Now, let's get the disclaimer out of the way. Now, they're saying that they can run their specific module at maximum power. And why is that important? Because these modules have different maximum powers. For example, this is the Beta FEV Express LRS Nano module, and it's capable up to 500 milliwatts. Now, take this for example, this is the TBS Crossfire Nano module, and this one is capable up to one watt. So, can we run these at max power? Yes and no, it really depends on your module. In this case, I can run this one at maximum power. Meanwhile, the TBS Crossfire Nano module is capable of one watt, so it does exceed the promise 500 maximum power output, but we'll still give it a try. Now the first thing you wanna do here is mount these modules to the back of this radio. And that requires a special module bay. That's included in the T-Lite V2 package. And it's as simply as connecting this and mounting three screws. So we'll do that right here quickly. All right, so there's your harness into the plug here. All right, pretty cool. Not perfect, but it gets the job done. So it's as easy as just mounting this onto the back here, slipping this on here, and there you go. You are connected. All right, so let's power this up and see if we can get this thing to work. Welcome to HDX. So let's power up a drone and see if this thing first connects to my drone, and then we'll try to ramp up the power and see if this thing still is powered. Okay, so first drone up is the Express LRS drone. This is my Baby Hawk 2 Express LRS. Pretty nice drone. So let's just plug this in and see if we get telemetry here. Usually I'll see telemetry on this. I don't see it. So that transmits obviously and it connects. All right, so we don't need that in there. Um, let's just go and see if we can turn the power up here. All right, so it's as simple as going to systems. You have your Express LRS in tools, select that. Let's go down here to power. 25, 50, 100, 250. 500, 500 is the claim max of this module. So once I hit select, it should be at 500 milliwatts, which is technically the maximum that both, you know, jumper and beta FV promises from this module. So let's select it and see what happens if it stays on. All right, technically we are at, it says it shows red. All right, can I arm it? All right. All right, that all works. It appears to work. Now I see the battery here is going down a little bit. It went from four to 3.9. I don't know if that's because of the increased power consumption or just the battery is being depleted just by having this radio on. So that's pretty cool. Let's try the crossfire now. That's gonna be a little interesting. I have another drone here. This is the X Knight 35. This one has a Crossfire Nano module on here. Now, I know Crossfire in the past, I have had some greater issues with power consumption and the T Light V1. So let's try it with the T Light V2 and see what it can do. All right, so let's power this up and see if this is gonna work. Now, it should be powered, it should be powered automatically because I have the external module on right here. Let's plug my drone in and see if it connects. Let's put this battery in here just for the heck of it. And this one it shows telemetry, which is pretty good, which is not bad. Um, let's arm it. It's already quiet, quiet drone. Okay, now let's go to the power output and see what the power is. So let's go to, let's go to general and we're gonna change the power output. So right now it shows uh, max power at 100 milliwatts. And let's go straight for the 500, what the heck. Select that. So technically we're at 500 milliwatts on this bad boy. Does it work? Of course it works. It also works as well. At telemetry, we still have 3.9 volts on here. So now the question is, what happens if I go above that 500 milliwatts? I don't know. Um, 
Okay, for you here, you're gonna see me do it right now. For me, I'm gonna go fly these and see if there's a difference in signal and see the different power outputs on this and see if this thing works pretty well. Once I get back, I will put it to one watt and see what happens. I just don't wanna damage this radar before I test it and fly it. So we're gonna fly it first and see how this radar behaves and then try one watt. Okay, so we're back from our test flight and the Drum Petulet V2 did a pretty decent job powering up these two devices. As you can see in the video, every time we incrementally increase the power in the module, we saw stronger signals in our OSD or our RSI's or DBM values. So this thing does power up these devices well, even up to 500 milliwatts on both the Crossfire Nano and on the Express LRS module. So there's only one more thing left to do, and that's to see if this thing can be powered up to one watt. Now, I really don't recommend it, but I'm just gonna try it out because I myself, I'm curious. So let's attach this module and see if we can get one watt output out of this. Welcome to HTX. All right. All right, so we have telemetry. I'm curious, I'm just gonna change the battery on this mod, in this radio here. All right, cool. Let's reattach this module and see if it can hang. We're going to one watt, guys. There it is. Whew, let's see if I can hit enter. I want to make sure you guys see it, what's happening here. Let's hit it. It's on one watt. Telemetry lost. Ah. Uh -huh. So it can't do it on one watt. Just not enough power. And the voltage went down pretty fast, 3.9. It connected. I'm not gonna arm it, but there it is. There's <laughs> one watt. All right, one watt, it can run it. <laughs> All right, so that's one watt. Um, I don't know how long you can run this on one watt. I probably wouldn't do that, but it's on one watt right now. So there you go, it works. Um, <laughs> All right, let's change it back to something a little bit lower because one watt is just extreme, honestly. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's unplug this thing. Did it run on one watt? It did. How long did it run for? Not too long. Now this is a light radar. This is a Jumper T light. If you want some more power output from your radar, this is obviously the Jumper T Pro, and that has two cells, and that can obviously provide the power for your external modules. Now I've done full reviews on the Jumper T-Lite V2, as well as these two modules right here. I'll leave those cards linked right here. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.